today we're here to uh, to talk a little bit about training uh, ERP SIM from the point of view of the trainer, not so much from the point of view of the learner. So this is part of the what we might call train the trainer series uh, for ERP SIM, where we go over uh, some of the the critical issues for for the dynamics with a class, uh, some tips about uh, how to how to run a good ERP SIM uh, presentation and a good class, and how to get the uh, students really involved. Uh, so you're, as you're aware, um, the uh, the learning methodology in the simulation itself is not the traditional learning methodology. You know, we're 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 not actually just giving people a bunch of information, asking them to take notes, master it. Uh, memorize it, learn everything about the software. We're, we're actually giving them oh, good documentation, but we're certainly not answering all their questions. And the learning takes place as people actually engage in the simulation. And that's that's something that's obviously it's apparent in simulation, and and we all we all like that, and we all accept that. Interestingly, when we train trainers, when we train either professors or in the commercial side, when we train people to use uh, to train on ERP SIM or to teach ERP SIM, immediately we see a very interesting default behavior. And the default behavior we see in people learning to be trainers or learning to be teachers of ERP SIM is that um, they want everything mapped out. They want everything controlled. They want everything kind of lockstep so they know exactly what to do. And I'm going to suggest that it's a very interesting thing as you learn to train on ERP SIM to observe your own reactions, to observe your own behaviors. Um, and you might find something very interesting about, um, about your learners. Because as soon as we put people into a situation where they don't know everything, and, and particularly when we put them into a situation where at the beginning um, they're not very good at what they're doing. In fact, they might even be failing. And you know, we often say that in, in ERP SIM, you know, error or failure is sometimes the best thing because that's how you learn. Well, that's great for our students, right? But when, it fe when we feel that discomfort of not being able to do everything perfectly, the behaviors that arise are, um, are, are interesting to observe. And we need to be observant of those in ourselves. For example, um, when, when you take a, a group or you take a, a group of either trainers, professional trainers or, or professors, and you start teaching them how to run ERP SIM, it's, it's, it's somewhat difficult. There's a lot to learn. And we don't go through it uh, with a lot of drill and practice. So you can practice everything, you know, 10 times so you reach mastery. We give you the basics and we show you how to do it. And then when you try it, generally, you won't be completely successful. You may have mistakes and you may have errors. Now, the, the remarkably fascinating thing is that when very smart people, like you know, professional trainers or professors, um, have difficulty um, learning and doing something, as, as you will when you learn ERP SIM, they immediately start feeling somewhat uncomfortable. And when we feel uncomfortable about whether we can do something perfectly or not, uh, particularly if we've been good students and we, uh, we pride ourselves on the fact that we're good learners. When we feel that level of discomfort, I can't do it perfectly right away, we tend to, um, we tend to blame. Um, there are a number of possibilities of where we might blame. But I, and I'll talk about those a little more when I get to some of the learning styles of our students. But I think the thing to be aware of is that there's there's a brilliant attitude to to take to any learning and the attitude when you begin to feel uncomfortable about about whether you can do it perfectly or whether it's going easily the attitude to take is the attitude of interest and inquiry when something isn't working when perhaps you're trying to to run the simulator and you don't quite know exactly what to do the uh, the most useful attitude is to say hmm isn't that interesting I haven't quite got it yet. I wonder what else is required. I wonder what perhaps I've done wrong. I wonder what perhaps I might do the next time. And this is, of course, the key element in the learning in the sim itself. 
but I'm asking you to use that model reflexively as you do your own learning about uh, teaching ERP SIM. So the first thing, the first thing I really want to talk about uh, in terms of uh, in terms of teaching other people how to use ERP SIM is is really the the overarching design or or, or the milieu of the classroom, and and your key objectives. The the key objectives that you have when you're teaching uh, ERP SIM are are actually not technical, although when you're in tr when you're in training to become an ERP SIM trainer. Um, the first thing that you'll think about is the technology. How do I tap the keys? How do I make sure this works perfectly? Those will be the things on the top of your mind. And I don't want to short circuit, you know, I don't want to short change those things. They are absolutely critical. As, as Pierre Mejeric Leger often says, you know, these are necessary but not sufficient. If, if you don't know how to tap the keys, uh, you're not in the game. So learning those keystrokes is, is, of, course, is, is of course really important. But I, I really have this belief that you're all going to learn the keystrokes. It's, it's really not that difficult. In fact, it's fairly simple, and all of you are more than capable of learning the keystrokes. So primarily, you know, don't worry about it. Just, just go along with the class, begin to learn, and realize that in this class you probably won't master everything, but you will get exposed to and you'll be in a position to attain mastery through practice, which is really what what our learning model is all about. I should say practice and experimentation. Yeah.